So the methods of control of charcoal rot, it's different from other crime rot diseases, the ones caused by, by tophtra and uh, call it uh, Charcoal rot is uh, mainly controlled by pre-planting fumigation. And the main source of inoculum of macrofomina is the soil. That's why you fumigate the soil. So macrofomina produces a, a resistant structure named microsclerotia. And it, this structure survived survive in the soil for a long, for long periods, even during Florida summer with high temperatures. And it's interesting to uh, uh, point out that the favorable conditions for the disease development is the, uh, is our high temperatures, low soil moisture, and this sandy soils that is a pretty common situation in Florida uh, strawberry fields. So, uh, but lately, our group at GCRC, uh, we found out that uh, microsclerotia can also survive in the strawberry debris, especially strawberry crowns. So, we've been performing some trials here at the center to see what's the impact of this uh, inoculum in the crowns to the new transplants. So, we are kind of simulating what happens in the growers and commercial gro at commercial grower fields where they reuse the plastics. And so we are performing some trials here at GCRC to simulate that condition uh, from strawberry growers, commercial fields, where we are gonna bury some crowns, like infected crowns next to new transplants or throw these crowns, infected crowns in between beds to see if uh, the water, the water irrigation, the, the ones that we keep for 10 days at the beginning of the season whenever we transplant these, these plants, if this water can actually spread uh, the, the fungus to the new transplants. And so far, we've been finding out that yes, it can do and the plants can die, but the new transplants can die from this uh, source of inoculum. So you're still performing, like uh, repeating some experiments as to preliminary, but it's important that we saw that the crowns can act as source of inoculum. And another trial that we are performing uh, with the with this issue, so it would be an alternative method of control, is trying to remove these crowns out of the field, so we could see if uh, this practice would have an impact on the survival, the, uh, the, the population survival in the soil, and also for uh, plant mortality later on in the season. And it's very intriguing uh, with the crowns because the main fumigants used to control the, the pathogen in the soil, they sometimes don't have that grade of control in the crowns. It's, it's a little bit harder to reach the inoculum inside the crown. So we are also testing new rates and new methods of uh, application of these fumigants. And it's uh, very important to emphasize that the control of charcoal rot is um, uh, it's reached, like it's achieved with this integrated management.